back to Dire Springs, and it will automatically move my rally point to this area as well. So if I, 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 I probably could have organized that a little better, but I wanted to make sure that I got the worm event this time. So that did kind of mess up my, my original plan. Which added like three days to the game. It's time to make your move. You identify one of his scholars that looks like an easier target. You sneak into the scholar's residence under the cover of darkness and obtain the access pass. You are able to enter the underground library easily with the pass. You decide to bring some help with you as there may be more guards within. This is what it looks like. Yeah, this might take a while. All of these chests are empty. So don't worry about it. We just need to get through these two guards and hit that. Let's hope they've cataloged the books. So these are elite shaman, which are high level units. So this might be worth just killing them all for the experience. may not seem like much, but I, I do have 9 units sharing the experience. This tattered one. Looks like this is it. The sun and moon obscured by an outstretched hand. The sun and moon enduring after all is gone. The old empire's policies of valuing science and scoring sorcery caused wizards to be victimized and persecuted. The wizards joined forces with several major clans and overthrew the old dynasty. This is the story of the founding of the Jade Kingdom. The wizards and the clans defeated the Machinists. The wizards sought freedom while the clans sought power. This led to a split within the resistance when the time came to split the spoils. Eventually, the wizarding bloodlines climbed to the top. It was the Nefrit line, descendants of the river goddess and heir to royal blood. Having taken the throne, the Nefrit granted fiefdom to the clan that participated in the war, which their descendants continue to hold until this day. Looks like their ambition was not so easily sated. The Nefrit chose an ancient city to serve as their capital. Legend has it that the river goddess came upon the mortal realm on a white camel, bestowing her blessings on the people. And so they named it Jamal City, after the ancient word for camel. So maybe I should be saying Jamal City? The royal blood passed down in the Nefrit royal family has the power to heal all ails. But not everyone in the family will inherit this blood. Only one person in each generation will be favored by fate. When a new heir to the blood appears, the previous heir's powers will begin to diminish. And so whoever inherits royal blood is also destined to inherit the throne. Thus, the capital's politics remained relatively stable, but unrest began to ferment among the other clans, each with their own private ambitions. You know the rest of the story. It happened a mere 20 years ago. The last page records the fall of Jamal City to the Nasir clan. The remaining pages are blank. Zarathustra seem to hear the voice of the old Khan of the Nisir. You look around and see no one. Someone can take your place, Zarathustra, even if you refuse. You hear the voice again, and you realize it's coming from the book. Like you, the young man by the name of Mantis has the power to control more than a hundred minds. He is entirely capable of replacing you. That does not concern me. So be it. I am old, Zarathustra. Where would I find you if I wanted to see you one more time before I die? Now be a pool of slime in Nuguka, and you will be sitting on Jamal's city throne. No reason for you to come and see me. You close the book and rub your temples. You turn again to the page where you encountered the illusion, but nothing happens. It takes incredible skill to enchant an inanimate object with illusion magic. Zarathustra is at Naguka. You close City of Camels. It is time to leave. So that's where our journey began. In Umbra Hills, Nugu near Naguka. And we shall now go back there when we're ready to finish the character quest line. I do apologize on my desert run, or my, my entry to the desert. It was not as smooth as the other parts of my walkthrough. I hope that it's still a pretty good walkthrough, nonetheless. Managed to make the best of it, getting experience and units, whatever I could. Turn to Dire Springs? Yes. Really is using a bow right now, but I might come I might get a player or character that joins me using a bow. So this could get me some money if I wanted to use it, but I don't think at that price I'm gonna sell it. This maybe. 
Red, the redstone stuff, maybe. This is a, this is pretty far from redstone. I already have. Yeah, hold on. So this gives me twenty attack, five stamina, three strength. Probably replace that. I'm not sure if it's actually better, but no, that's fine. We'll leave this that alone. We'll make a save. All right, so we are up here. Our main quest is in this region here, which will then lead us down here, and our character quest will lead us over here. So that's the route I'm planning on taking now. I can no longer use my scroll. It will just warp me to this Dire Springs area. So I actually, I can use the scroll. It just won't lead me anywhere I want to go. What are you thinking? No. Zaynab, you said your sister mentioned Zarathustra before her death. Yes. You remember what she said? No. Just pointing a dagger at my heart. I saw tears fall from her eyes. If she was under the influence of spirit magic, her face should have been expressionless as though her spirit had left her. Could it have been Zarathustra? Maybe it's a kind of spirit magic unfamiliar to me. But other than Zarathustra, who could have done it without me noticing? What if it wasn't him? Then we keep looking until we find the true culprit. A young woman with long braided hair stands in your way. Thieves! You'll pay the price for disrespecting scholars! What are you trying to do? Oh, it's you. You were the ones who saved me from the monster. Uh, just go, and I, I never saw you. Well, since you're here, this belongs to you. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go, Zayna. I guess we're really going to leave like this. worth selling. Uh, I think I'm good. I'm low on money now. Yeah, it's, I'm heading in the direct, correct direction. Alright, well, I'm, I feel like my second playthrough was actually better. Because by this point, I already had a full party party. When I say party, I'm talking about the heroes. I just ended up taking so many shortcuts that I got a bad ending. Now, this is good for me. that previous battle, those previous battles in the dungeon, it gave me half as much, but two third as long. Here, we got Hearty. We're level eight. sell off so we can basically double our money here um, of course they don't actually have enough money to buy uh, to pay me so we'll just have to 
take their take what they currently have. We need food. I could use some more food. All right, that pretty much takes all of them what they have. Talent. I'm getting at least one potion a week, which is plenty for now. So I guess what we can do to continue to build up my team is we'll go ahead and get Tiger Formation as soon as I can, and then work my way up here this way to get more squads. Poison Bomb. I can actually see what it does this time. Let's pick a save and take a look. Poison Bomb. It deals attack times one damage a poison target for five seconds. So, it's a, since it's a physical attack, we're not going to keep it. I get substantially more influence with them now that my my um, talents towards the politics are much higher. Yeah, I think on my second playthrough, I was actually level 10 by the time I had done all this. Because I had Psy Blast. You're any good. So the, if a person's walking around by themselves, they may they uh they don't they don't they're not belonging to any team. Let's go ahead and get the treat treaty here. And buy some of the stuff. Silk is worth it. Okay, we'll make a save and talk to all three of these and see if any of them have skills I like. Minimize, minimize. Alright, so we found, I think, Saki. He's got Snow Eagle Sword and a Colt. Alright, so it's mainly one ability. Not Taki, a Muda Leak. Tornado Oath. And she got the stamina tree. So like there's there's abilities here that she here, Tornado Oath. Uh, who was the other one? There was three of them. Yasmin. Alright, so none of these were very interesting to me. So we'll go and load so it doesn't cl clutter up my intel. I definitely need another party member though. I may just take one of them just to fill it a slot. Just for now. Let's see if there's anybody over here. There's SL. Some silk. There's more forged tools. I wonder, maybe forged tools always indicate where the where the where the mate or bartender is at. That might also be a thing. Okay, so anyways, let's see what else I can sell. I can Make about 1700 in coin. Is that the only stack? No, here's the stack. You can't combine stacks, so. Alright, let's just get one of them for now, because I'm about to embark on some stuff that, that will get the team some experience. I checked their stats, and. Two of them, the two I'm not going to get, have high spirit stats, but they use a physical attack weapon. 
in addition to something else, but they, they don't use spirit weapons, so that, that actually is not that great for them. So we'll take Mudalik instead. So what kind of errands do you have? You, 20 days at Half Moon Hills Bazaar. Yeah, sure. It's easy. But in addition to that, I will also just give you a gift, since I'm, I'm carrying a lot of things. You like cute toys and special gear? Well, we'll give you this flower, because I can get lots of flowers. And now, that's she's over 20, so she will now be able to join my team. Alright, take a look here. She has no horse, but she does get used throwing weapons and a robe. So let's see, do I have any throwing weapons? I do not. Do I have any armor? No. Alright, how about a horse? No. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll get some of that stuff later if she stays on my team, which she might not. we we'll take a look at party. So she gets high agility and high stamina, but she uses a sub-weapon, which is physical attack based. Good look at skill. Here's stamina, agility, and then that's the one ability she has. So we'll replace her eventually, but for now, this is this this will have to work out. One more level and I'll get Sight Blast finally. Sight Blast is a great ability. Let's see, that's... So I'll save my level 9 skill point for these two abilities. When I get level 10, I'll get that, and I'll buy that. In the meantime... So here's the main quest. I... I... Isra? I don't know. Isra stands alone by the river, with her back to you. The wind blows her hair as she stares into the distance. You came, she removes her veil. Allow me to introduce myself one more time. My name is Aleda. I am the princess of the old empire. You've heard the name Aleda many times along your journey, but you never expect to stand before the princess herself. We can talk while we walk. Aleda raises her hand, and a blue light strikes the riverside cliff like a meteor. The light disappears, and you can see the entrance to a cave. Are you really Aleda? You're an imposter? People said you died during the Battle of Black Sun. Don't believe everything you hear. Join me inside if you're ready. Are you ready to enter the caves? Yes. What is this place? An underground passage at least to Jamal City. There are monsters here. <laughs> Thanks. I hadn't discovered that by this point. Be careful. Let's see if these guys are worth the time to, to defeat. Not bad, I got some jade out of that, and some items. A two-handed weapon and a frost wand. Okay, let's try this wand over our current item. Nice stuff. Two gifts. Wow. Yeah, I'll definitely kill these things. Here we are. Why were you traveling with Malik before? I thought some of his research could be helpful. Research on Ifri? Sure. 
<laughs> when I first met him, you were being chased by Ifrit. He used this method to fool many mages, taking advantage of the battle with the Ifrit. How strange. I remember he said that ancient Ifrit required human mages for sustenance. The exit isn't far ahead now. Let's go. More will be made clear about the Ifrit soon. Sneak past? No. There's some stuff here, but I can't get there. You push the stone bricks and climb out of the tunnel. You hear the sound of birds' wings echoing in this empty, quiet place. You look around. Everywhere you turn, you see fallen stone columns and ruined statues. Some are covered in vines. Others have been consumed by the sands. This is a ruined temple with only a few broken murals remaining on the walls. The dome of the temple is broken. Light filters down, illuminating broken statues of the goddess. The river goddess. People call her a goddess and have told legends about her for a millennium. She is the legendary divinity who saved humanity. There are many stories about her achievements, but she actually only did one thing. She drove out the Ifrit. Black Sun brought the Ifrit here. Unlike the other monsters who appeared after the Black Sun, they were not invaders, but rather they were returning to their homeland. Malek also mentioned the humans stole the Ifrit's land. That's not true. Thousands of years ago, humans and the Ifrit coexisted. The Ifrit require magic to survive, but most magical things are inedible. Except human mages. Yes. Although there are some magical plants and animals that work as well, humans are the most satisfying choice for Ifrit. So Ifrit are not the enemy of all humans? Nearly all humans have traces of magic on them, and starving Ifrit are far from picky. So they will... Yes, but they prefer wizards, sorcerers, or mages if they can find one. The commoner is safe if there is a more magically attuned person nearby. Back then, anyone gifted with the arcane arts could not escape death once they were discovered. Back to the topic at hand. This is the abandoned temple of Jamal City. As you know, the Nefrit were the descendants of the River Goddess. Every generation, a member of the Nefrit inherits the royal blood of the River Goddess. Royal blood. There is some Raj trial here. The door can only be opened by Nefrit. I am the only Nefrit left, so I must watch this place. I need you to complete a trial and acquire a scimitar. After you have it, I will help you return to your reality. Scimitar. It contains remnants of the River Goddess's power. It's a shame I found it so late, otherwise... Please, it's dangerous inside, but I'll help you when you need it. What's in the Mirage? It's history. You are better off on your own. Be safe. Mist fills the air. The wind carries a strange smell. There's a little girl head. This is Mirage. She can't see or hear me. But who is she? Aleda is a little girl? This woman is a witch! She knows magic! Arcane power means trouble! Make her sink to the bottom of the river and you'll be safe! She's just a child. Her mother abandoned her. She's wicked. A wicked good-for-nothing witch. Your pity is beneath you. The world doesn't need such sentiment. Hmm. This is the way of the world. But why me? Space begins to twist. The air is like a pair of invisible hands that press you tightly. The little girl disappears into the ground. It hurts. River water. So much water. I can't breathe. I hate water. I hate humans. little girl disappears. Is she the river goddess? Super speed. What passes super speed anyways? Lies! It's a human trick! That woman wants to gobble us up! The evil, hateful woman, evil! What did she do? Was that crack at the bottom of the river? No! No! I curse this world! One day we will doom you all! No! Shotgun to the face! Oh, that's a nice staff. This... This is how the Ifrit were driven out? Who 
Who are you? A rift. Rift could not give me this kind of strength, nor could it destroy the Ifri. I am truth, the flaw in the world, the master of time. I am you. No, you're not me. I'm just a human. I can be a human or an Ifrit. I can be anything, but I want to be a Rift. I don't understand what you're saying. You have driven out the Ifrit. I no longer need your power. What I give you is not power. It is a price. You must pay a price to open the Rift. The price will be passed down through your blood across generations. What the hell is going on? It will be called Royal Blood in the future. It will heal the wounds of the world. It heals all wounds? Yes, time heals all wounds. Receive the Mystic Scimitar. The Dark Miasma returns as you open the chest. It's you. Huh? Dark Miasma fades once more. You hear Elena's voice. Did you get the Scimitar? Sure. <laughs> Hang on, I want to free you from this mirage. Everything goes dark. I did say I was gonna replace Sure, but I just like it too much. It's just it's just so it's just so off. Sure. I can't look at the Scimitar, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't B the B button does nothing right now, which is default for backpack. Or my button for backpack. I don't know if it's default. Let me look at your wounds. Aleda heals your wounds. Thank you. What is the rift? Well, I haven't ascertained their true purpose. Rifts are cracks in the world. A thousand years ago, the Ifrit were tempted by the river goddess and swallowed by a rift. Is another world on the other side of the rift? Yes. Black Sun reopened the rift. Ifrit and other monsters came here from another world through the rift. What is this blade? A relic left behind by the river goddess that contains traces of her power. It will aid me in my next task. You saw the river's goddesses pass in your vision, did you not? And you should understand that the Ifrit are full of, filled with rage and hatred. It's hard to fathom what will happen if things continue to develop the way they are now. You humans, if any, realize the danger they are in. The various tribes and clans still fight amongst themselves in foolish quarrels for lands and riches. I expect you have begun to understand my task now. The secret order of wizards who call themselves the Arcanists have been aiding me. Those who escape from Jamal City have pledged your assistance in preventing yet another war. The leader of the Ifrit, the Ifrit Void Master, refuses to show himself. We must find him before proceeding. The Arcanists located a barrier created by the Ifrit in Naguka near the Umbra Cliffs. We should be able to use the scimitar you retrieved to dispel the barrier that will take seven days. We'll be able to enter their base when the time comes. Even I have to admire your strength, Mantis. I hope that you will join me in this fateful battle. I'm sorry. I know I must feel like I made this decision for you. Are you angry? No. Mantis, I don't know what to say. There's so much I can't explain. Something about you feels familiar. My spirit is at ease when you are by my side. I said too much. I will speak with you through the arcane when the Void Voidmaster appears. Thank you. Then we're done. You know, I, now that I think about it, during my second playthrough, I think I was like day 80 when I was here, and th I'm actually about day 50 now, so maybe there is something to this. You return the mysterious scimitar to Elena. You bid farewell to this abandoned temple, and farewell to the river goddess statue, and return the way you came. You split up in Twin Luna Valley. Elena says she has matters she must prepare. She hopes you will use the remaining days to become stronger. The two of you walk in opposite directions. You look back at one another at the same time, as if you shared the same heart. When you look back, you see a great sadness in her eyes. Such loneliness. Let me make a save, and I want to see if I can take down any of the camps yet. So there's a camp right over here. 